Hello Virgos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley. I'm going to do a quick love reading for you all. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs and any other major placements in which you may have Virgo in your chart. This will not resonate for all Virgos out there. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If it's not your story, it is simply not your story. It's very, very important not to force it. We're going to be looking at how you're feeling towards your person, how your person's feeling towards you, the mutual energy between you both. Let's see, Virgos. This is not going to be a long one, y'all. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I said that the one, the last one, it was still an hour. But I'm going to try and really get you energy reads and as, as well as love reads um, more frequently. Let's see. We'll just be using the Witch's Tarot deck today. Ooh, that one flew right out. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. Hey, the mutual energies have been popping up so crazy. Okay. We'll take them all because the last one was important. All right, so I'm going to read this as you, Virgo. I'm going to read this as your person. Roles can always be reversed. Go ahead and flip it as need be. If it's not your story, I can't emphasize it enough. Please do not force it. Okay, Virgo. You have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Five of Pentacles in reverse and Seven of Wands. Virgo, I think you're unhappy right now. And remember, roles can be reversed. I don't think you're, you're, you're in a good place in your relationship or with this person at the moment. If you're in a connection, you're unhappy. If you're single, you're not looking. The Ten of Cups in reverse. This, this deck's kind of hard. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse. This means that you're not emotionally fulfilled. And a lot of you, I feel like you're not. I don't feel like you are, but I think it, it doesn't have nothing to do with like this person. I think it has something to do with um, finances, if I'm being honest. I don't think you're very emotionally fulfilled. And, and Virgos, y'all cr crave stability. You guys love your pentacles, you know? you be, Not because you're money hungry, because you love stability, right? A Virgo needs stability. And that's when you're at your happiest. And I don't think you're happy right now, Virgo. I think that either you've lost money or you're overspending or you've overspent or maybe money's not coming in the way that it used to. And with the Six of Pentacles, I think that you're kind of like, my kids come first, my family comes first, my, homes come, my home comes first. You see how he's dropping the Pentacles into the children, into the children's lap or hands? And it's almost like, Virgo, like you're like, that's the only thing that matters. As long as my loved ones, my family, my kids, whoever are happy and taken care of, that's all I care about. And I think you are the sole provider, if not the main provider, you know, of this situation. And I'm sorry, loves. I don't know how to make this better other than continuously going like that. But um, I think that especially right now as, as children are going back to school and stuff or, you know, summer's ending, you know, and I don't know where y'all are located, but summer bills are crazy over here where I'm located. So... I think that you really are focusing on your stability, on your pentacles, making sure that your loved ones are good, making sure that you're still balanced and equal out in that department. And I think it's causing you some strife, all right? With the five of pentacles, things are looking real gloomy in regards to your finances. It's like as much as you're trying to grow, they fall off and you got to spend it or you got to blow it or maybe you're having unexpected circumstances arise. And therefore, you're not really putting too much into your love into the love department. Too much energy or time into the love department because you have the seven of wands here. And it's like, yeah, you have love. Yeah, you have feelings. Yeah, there's people that want you or, or someone around you if you're in a relationship that or a connection that's, you know, trying, trying. And you're kind of like, okay, yes, I care. I get it. I love you. But right now I'm in survival mode. I got to work. I got to be on my defense. I can't, I don't have time for this. You know what I mean? I think that you're kind of like trying to get out of a, a tough spot, out of a tunnel. And you're kind of like, okay, 
I don't have the time. I get it. You know, thank you, but I'm busy or something like that. That's like the vibe I'm getting from you, Virgo. Over here in your person's energy, you have the Ace of Wands, the King of Pentacles, the Shadow Side, and the Fool. This person feels like you're losing faith or feelings for them or even attraction. Some of y'all, this person feels like you're losing attraction for them, like the connection is, is dying. But you are like they're like they want you so bad. And they think all you see is money. Oh, let me see. Okay. Okay. Ace of Wands, right? This in reverse means um closing a chapter, no new beginnings, losing interest, losing passion. Some of y'all are not being intimate. Some of y'all have not been too intimate or too excited to be intimate or something like that. Or some of y'all just show no interest or no passion. This person feels like they're losing you. If you're in a connection or if this is someone that's admiring you, they feel like they're losing their opportunity or their chance with you. They want something with you. They want a home. They want a place in your home. Like they want a place, like, like they want you to look at them as stable, as a stable person in your life. Like they want a place in your life, Virgo. King of Pentacles, like they want to be the king or they want to be the queen of your heart. Gender's not a role, remember. <clears throat> but it's like the way that they're looking at you, Virgo, like they're like, oh my gosh, I adore Virgo so much. You're that pentacle, right? But they're like, Virgo only sees money. Virgo only sees finances. Virgo only sees stability. And maybe I can't offer that. There's something significant about grapevines. Oh, or maybe if this is a new person, they heard it through the grapevine, you know, that Virgo is only interested in career or money. And I think that, I think that they think, Virgo, that you see them as immature. Like they still have a lot of growing up to do. They still have a lot of work to do. Um, with the shadow side and the fool. The shadow side is in reverse. So they feel like you feel, Virgo, that they're not at, on your level. They're not on your frequency yet. They haven't done the work that you've done. You Maybe y'all don't really have much in common anymore maybe they feel like you're outgrowing them virgo and with the fool here you could be dealing with an aries um could be dealing with capricorn strong aries a scorpio ooh, a pisces or a sag but i feel like and those are just, you know, anyone can have those in their charts. It doesn't have to be those signs, but those are what's popping up. So I feel like they feel like they're, like you feel they're very immature, Virgo. They think you feel that they're very, very immature. Something about a dog. <gasps> you think that they're a dog, girl or, girl or guy, right? Male or female. Like they think you think that they're a dog. And maybe they can never come back from that. Or maybe maybe they feel like they have to beg you like a dog or something like that. Because maybe they feel like you don't take them serious. Like as much effort they're trying to put in, like they feel like you just don't see them in that light. But they're not going to stop, I don't think. Like they're ready just to move wherever you go. Like they're ready to follow wherever you go. You know what I mean? I don't know. In the mutual energy, you have nine of pentacles in reverse and a whole lot. Let's see what else. The tower, six of cups, the high priestess, the queen of wands, and the emperor. I think honestly, Virgo, I think you're in a relationship or a connection already. If not, 
you may want to be with this person. It's just not the right time. And this person desperately wants you. That's only if you're not already in this connection, okay? But the Nine of Pentacles, you're usually on top of your finances. You're usually on top of your home. You're usually on top of your, your maintenance, your, yourself. You know what I mean? The Nine of Pentacles. This is the Virgo card. And I think when it's in reverse, this is someone who's not single. This is someone who's taken off the market. This is someone who may be struggling with keeping up with their home, with their upkeep, with, with bills, right? Losing money. Maybe you're having a budget now and you're not used to doing that. But there's going to be a tower moment. There's going to be a tower moment here. I keep hearing breaking the rubble, breaking free from the rubble, breaking the rubble. I think there's going to be a long talk or a deep talk coming, Virgo. Like the, your angels or God or, or your ancestors, whoever you believe in, the universe, they're going to make you talk to this person. They're going to make you come clean, make you open up to this person. You're used to being tall, strong, and powerful, and sturdy. And there's something happening here. There, this is all to make you open up, Virgo. This happened on purpose so you can open up, take off your crown. You know, they messed up your crown, whether it be a male or a female. They messed up your crown, and you need help fixing it now. You had to open up, and you need... Maybe some of y'all need to open up and, and be more... Um, empathetic or maybe even be um vulnerable that's the word not empathetic vulnerable this is to teach you vulnerability whatever is going on you need to open up and ask for help on fixing your crown on fixing your palace fixing your tower right You're not used to speaking up. You're not, Virgo. The Six of Cups and the High Priestess. The Six of Cups is about bad memories, bad times, um, bad nostalgia. You have maybe a lot of childhood trauma that has shaped you into this person. Maybe there's something about your childhood that you don't know how to express feelings or show emotion. You're, you have to always be strong. Or maybe you didn't have a lot of help, so you don't know how to take help or ask for help. You know what I mean? This is that card, the Six of Cups in reverse. And with the High Priestess, it's like you're so strong and you're so intuitive and you're so valuable, Virgo. But you never say a word when you're struggling, right? When you're not on top of your game or on your best game, you never say a word. You can't even tell what you're going through. And maybe that's something that has followed you from childhood. You have had to be strong. And I think they're trying to show you it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to open up. Because the Queen of Wands and the Emperor, it's like, like there's someone who loves you and adores you so much or at least cares for you so much, Virgo. And even if they're not in the best spot to assist a lot, they're still willing to help and assist you in, in any way that they can. Because they, they know you're strong. They already know your strength. They know your strength. They know you're strong. They know you're loving. They know you've been through a lot. They don't know what you've been through, but they know you've been through a lot, right? Because see the fire? The fire is sort of dimming. And you still have a fresh face. This could be a male. Switch the gender. And you're still making things grow. You're still moving, right? You're still on top. But this person's also willing to go to bat for you to take on some of that burden, to take on some of that responsibility, to take on some of those worries. There's definitely something about children 
there's something about boots i don't know if someone likes to wear boots like i'm getting like knee-high boots but for men i'm getting like cowboy boots like cheddar boots you know like me me you see that i don't know if y'all see that but it says me right there me it's like you're used to being the emperor virgo whether you're a male or female you're used to ruling your own kingdom you're used to being the one in charge you're used to making the money having the responsibilities getting things done and now there's someone like you've done it long enough let me help i know you're strong you don't got to prove it to me let me help you you know what i mean and i think it's like this person's trying to find a way to get you to to give them the benefit of the doubt and assist you know what i mean oh virgo under the deck we have three of wands in reverse that means whatever you've been waiting for if you've been needing something or needing help or wanting help or wanting someone they're coming in rewards are coming in look what's coming in the lovers the lovers this is a divine connection or this is supposed to happen because look the angels are watching over it and the temperance and they're saying don't don't get rattled still keep your composure don't get rattled and let your guards down let your guards down oh my goodness virgo let me get you um a love message if this message is resonating let me know in the comments below if you haven't already please like the video and subscribe to my channel i would greatly greatly appreciate it loves we are almost at seventeen thousand souls um subscribed i am so forever grateful for you all i can't believe that many people of y'all that many people of that many people or that many of you resonate with my messages so <laughs> if you want to book a private reading with me you can book through my etsy or you can um, shoot me an email. Etsy is probably the best way to go because I'm still going through emails. Let's see what's going on. My Instagram below if you want to follow me on a personal level, you want to send me a deck, my Amazon wish list, my Spotify, everything's below, okay? Give me a love message for Virgo. Ooh, player. They might think that you're a player, Virgo. Player. They. This person may think that you're a player, but I don't think it's it's that. I think it's because... You distance yourself when you when you um, are focused on your money, right? When you get that tunnel vision, it's solely on your career and your money and your your stability. Gossip and I can't lose you. I think people are telling this person that you're a player, <laughs> Virgo. I think there's some gossip that you're a player or a playerette. But they don't care. I can't lose you. They're not. They're, I don't even think that they even believe anybody anymore. Addictions is at the bottom. I think some of y'all are workaholics or could be addicted to work. Give me a mutual. My family loves you. So I definitely feel like there's kids involved. If not, there could definitely be just family. If not, this person or you Virgo remember roles can be reversed definitely feel like you guys could have a good family together clarify Virgo's person trust issues this this person doesn't really trust you Virgo okay this person has some trust issues or you have trust issues with this person separation or no communication so it could be that y'all are not talking this could be someone you've been dealing with and you guys just are not talking or separated or taking a break or it just could be that they feel like you guys are detaching like there's detaching there's some communication that needs to be had because they feel like they're losing you virgo Ooh, look and yeah they think that you only care about yourself right now like they feel like you're detaching from them leave the past in the past it could be you have a past with this person. It could be that you have trust issues from past relationships and they're trying to show you that they're different. But that's what I have for you, Virgo. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I'm sending you lots of love, light, peace, clarity. May peace always surround you. I love y'all so much and I will talk to you soon.